Hi everyone, this video is about the social distancing solutions from SICK called Pupil Calendar and Distance Guard. Tiberius Pischke and I, Tibor Mellert, are both product managers at SICK for those solutions and we are going to present the highlights and functioning principles of the two devices today. Up here we have the Pupil Calendar, which is a device used for counting the number of people within rooms or certain areas. The other solution is the distance guard, which is helping people to keep their social distance to each other. For example, 1.5 meters they must have to each other in order to ensure that perhaps in the time of pandemic or when people maybe are ill or infected, are all the time reminded s in a subtle way not to get too close to each other. The solution here is a very small LiDAR sensor based on the TIM hardware. The TIM is also used a lot for navigation in HEVs or AMR sensors and for autonomous robots. How does LiDAR work? LiDAR is a based on a distance uh, sensor, distance sensor in terms of laser sending out and the uh, laser coming back. The time is measured and by that you will receive the exact distance to an object. When you now rotate this laser, you will get a very good idea of the whole room in this one plane where the device is measuring. Sometimes you have not only one plane, as in this 2D LiDAR sensor, but several planes. For the distance guard, we are now able to filter out every stationary object that is the background and only look at the objects that are moving around the people. Those people are clustered then together and the device is recognizing when a certain width is reached, that is, it is a person, and the blue bubble, bubble as we see here now, is indicating the distance they should keep to each other. When they are now moving too close to each other, as you see in this short video, the minimal distance is going down and when the two circles intersect, then we have a breach of the minimal distance. When we move apart from each other, then everything turns green again and the distance is kept. <coughs> Additionally, you can also measure the occupancy for this specific area, which is now two persons. As another effect. Now let's come to a live demonstration. We have now set device to 1.5 meters, as you can see, indicated here, and if we are now moving too close to each other, then the light we have connected is turning red. This is very easily done without need for any additional hardware or markers on the floor, as would be the case in normal such similar situations. So where can you employ this device? This device is useful in situations where you don't have a defined queue situations, where it's very clear in which order persons are arriving, how they need to move around, rather a launch area, waiting areas, at a bar where people just come together from many different directions and you want to remind them in case they are not holding their social distance in a subtle way, maybe with such a light indication or a small sound, that the distance is breached. Also, maybe you want to supervise for certain areas within a room that one space is not getting too crowded with too many people at a specific location. And this can then also not only be seen via digital IOs, but also if you connect the device via network, you will get a direct feedback in the network and can also supervise many different areas just from one PC. This brings me to the highlights of this device. So for a LiDAR in comparison to a camera, we have anonymized data, so we don't take pictures, we just take those planes and get distance information. We don't need any barriers or markers on the floor which we need to move around. We can very easily set it up just with one click, uh, teach the background, 
and then define the minimum distance. In default, it's 1.5 meters, but that can also be changed with just one mouse click. Also define the limits of the area we want to look into. And for such areas, then, also we can not only detect the distance of the persons to each other, but also the number. Handing over now to the second solution and Tiberius with the people counter. Many thanks, Tibor, for this impressive presentation of our distance guard. Now I want to present you our second solution of our social distancing product portfolio, the people counter, mounted directly behind me on top of the store. The solution is also based on the LiDAR hardware. And here you can see a typical situation for people counting areas, for example, on a cruise ship to uh, supervise the situation of restaurants. The hardware of uh, the software solution is also based on the LiDAR technology comparable to the distance guard, but in this case we are using a 3D LiDAR, the MS1000 of our product portfolio, with four layers. And thanks to the four layers, we are able to identify the direction of movement correctly, even the persons walking out or uh, walking in. And um, based on the LiDAR technology, we are only collect 3D point clouds. So we are protect the privacy rules. And in this video, you will see um, that we are only collecting a combination of shoulder head shoulder. And this is based on a machine learning algorithm teach by over 1,000 people. And you can see we can differentiate persons from objects. So objects will never disrupt uh, the counting accuracy. Here in the next slide you will see a few of the GUI uh, on the embedded software of the people counter. You can easily install the device um, for your um, application. Here you can configure the size of the point of interest depending on the door uh, where the people counter is mounted. Before we start into the live demonstration, I want to show you here our screen. And here we are seeing the current occupancy on this area. Here we have five people around and the configured maximum number of people. So the maximum capacity is seven for this area. Here we get the feedback um, that more people are allowed to step in with the green arrow. And if the situation is overcrowded and the maximum number of people is reached, the green arrow will change to a red stop sign and uh, the feedback sh uh, shows up, um, please wait in front of this area. Now some people will start walking around to demonstrate the people counter in action and you will see that the situation is changing depending on who is ca coming in or coming out. Here, some of our colleagues, um, for example, for cruiser ships, ships is going to the spa area. And here now the situation is overcrowded. We reached the maximum capacity and you see the red stop sign and the information, please wait in front of this area. And we have no challenges to count people simultaneously in every direction. We have now the situation again, the area is free and here you can see it is easy to count people simultaneously. And if you want to use more than one devices, you can uh, use the capability to configure the device as a master-slave setup uh, in, into your network. So you will collect all the data in one master device to supervise the situation of bigger areas with more than one exit and entrances. With the available digital outputs, you can also use a signal lamp as you can see here in the picture. All these data are collected on the device and to supervise the situation, you have the statistic of the last 10 days available. Also as a download for Excel sheet, you can evaluate the situation of your area. For example, to uh, analyze how good was the last uh, marketing campaign to increase the number of customers. 
This is the situation our canteen here on the campus and you can see easily at the morning we have a lot of people inside and of course in the afternoon for lunch. Um, now I want to sum up all this information based on the LiDAR technology. The people counter is a 100% anonymized people counter solution with a counting accuracy of 98% by using our smart algorithm reached by more than 1,000 people. We can differentiate people from objects easily to have a high counting accuracy and with the embedded software the people counter itself is uh, really easy to install as a plug and play solution. And as I mentioned at the end, you have statistics available for evaluation cases. Many thanks for your attention. It was a pleasure to present you our social distancing product portfolio. If you want more details, please have a look on our website or contact your local sales guy. And you can also contact us directly. Many thanks for watching. Bye bye.